So I've got this impossible task of coming to Davos uh, and in 10 minutes uh, giving you an overview and a sort of framework to think about the technology of money. Now, uh, I don't know if any of you watched the show Silicon Valley on HBO, um, but in, in one of the last seasons, uh, when they were looking at uh, ways to raise money, uh, the, the introduction to a, to a crypto, uh, you know, whether they were going to do a token issuance, um, was like a 35-slide you know, background on the history of money. So I, I, I find that in, in crypto, uh, we always go down this rabbit hole of what is money. Um, and the important thing to think about is that we actually still don't know. Um, I think even if you talk to all the top central bankers and economists uh, here, in, here in Davos, um, I think there's still no general orthodoxy on what money is. Um, so I want to kind of give a, a, a little bit of a framework for how, how I think about it and, and how this has kind of taken me from you know, growing up a, in a town of pig farmers and, and becoming a geological engineer uh, to, uh, I guess, you know, years later, uh, here I am in Davos and I've been able to have conversations with you know, a couple former Treasury secretaries on the nature of money. Um, you know, uh, George Soros, uh, we, we were the first Bitcoin uh, company, related company that he invested in and got to uh, talk to a currency trading legend about, uh, about what Bitcoin is. Um, and I think it's all been just this sort of intellectual journey. Um, what I like to say is a, you know, a resume uh, dis or a uh, intellectual journey disguised as a resume um, of what I've always been questioning and testing in the market of you know, what is money. But stepping back for a second, um, you know, kind of doing a 10-year challenge, um, I, you know, we look at 2009, and, and, I, and I'll, I'll first, you know, kind of talk about, you know, how people were thinking about money, um, you know, in the middle of a financial crisis, um, and of course, you you had, uh, you know, you had uh, the Satoshi Nakamoto white paper, uh, which I believe, uh, you know, whatever your beliefs on, beliefs on Bitcoin uh, has changed uh, uh, the technology of money forever, um, uh, both in the social technology as well as in the uh, sort of the architecture and settlement. And, and all the aspects of, of what you know what I deem the, the technology of money. Um, at the time, um, as was mentioned, uh, I was I was the head of uh, metal strategy at Goldman Sachs. Um, I so so I worked with a lot of central banks uh, as clients. Um, obviously, you know, particularly in, in the um, in the outlook for gold. Um, but uh, I actually got that job um, uh, because back in 2006, I had, um, uh, you know, along with my team, predicted the financial crisis. Um, and I actually did it via, first I predicted an energy crisis that would turn into a currency crisis that would turn into a, a, a debt crisis. Um, so I actually, as, as I'll give you a very brief overview, and then we can talk about uh, this uh, at dinner, um, but uh, I actually find uh, the foundations of money is, uh, the objective foundations in money uh, all has to do with energy. So I guess thinking about the technology of money um, and maybe relevant to probably the, 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 more, um, uh, the, the more useful presentation uh, coming next, um, there's actually two aspects of money technology if you think about money as a technology. Uh, the first, uh, when we think about money technology, we think about things like PayPal. Um, or you could even go back further and you can think about things like the paper check or Western Union. Uh, what these were were not necessarily money technologies, but they were communication technologies that help the settlement of money, uh, particularly debt-based money. Uh, so, so you have the technology uh, of money from a communications perspective, um, uh, which, is, which is one thing, but I actually think the part that's far more difficult to understand sort of philosophically um, is the technology of what money is itself, uh, what is the actual unit of, of money, and, and what does that mean? So when we think about um, the unit of, of, of money itself, uh, this is, in, in my view, actually a social technology. Um, and I would, I'd put it uh, just uh, you know, up there as just important as writing uh, or maths. Uh, so so this, is, this is a technology that is actually, we're always changing. And I think a lot of the conversations that are happening here in Davos this week um, has to do directly or indirectly uh, with the social technology of money. Um, obviously, we're all very well aware of, of the rise of populism. Uh, particularly throughout the Western world, um, and, and the issues of trust, that, that, that's a long you know, trust in our institutions, uh, that's a big conversation. And of course, the, the conversation of inequality, uh, which again comes back to this social technology of money. 
But if you think about the social technology money, there's actually, I would actually break it into to, to two, two things when we try to conceptualize money. Uh, the first is a commodity. Uh, and we think about money as a commodity, which actually is quite objective. Um, and if you look at most of human history, uh, or particularly modern human history, you had money directly or indirectly tied to a commodity, and particularly gold or, or precious metals. Um, and, the, and the question uh, uh, is, is why? Um, you know, why, why was that, that objective uh, money you know, tied to that? Um, and, and my answer would be because it's trustless. It's, it's looking backwards, and your contract is over the second you hand, hand somebody this bearer asset. So if you have, you know, whether it's copper or silver or gold, uh, you hand it to somebody, the contract has been, has been uh, exer exercised and finalized. Um, because possession is 10 tenths the law. Uh, if you have it, the uh, contract's finished. But as we know, that's not how uh, most modern financial transactions happen. Um, uh, when, you, when you look at a, a, at a much bigger system, uh, we're looking at a much more difficult forward-looking social contract, um, and that is uh, you know, your, your ability to measure wages, um, what, what collateral is backing this promise or this credit. Um, so you, you think about money as a credit. So we, we tend to think we put them together and confuse ourselves, um, but I actually think they're two different things. And I would actually use the terminology, as a lot of people uh, in the more, particularly the gold bug community use, as money is a bearer asset that is that, that, that trustless contract. Um, and currency uh, is, is, is a debt obligation and something that requires future performance. It's the way we organize society when we have an uncertain future, particularly along, among large, large groups of people. So, so this is a very, um, you know, when we put them together, it actually makes it very difficult to think about the technology of money and how are we actually going to change the unit. So going back to the, to the Bitcoin white paper, I think what's so fascinating about Bitcoin is it's a little bit of both. So first off, it is a bearer asset where possession is 10 tenths the law. So it has those properties of gold um, in, in, in being a internet digital bearer commodity. But at the same time, it's also a social contract. It's a consensus mechanism that is subject to change. The protocol can change. Um, and so this is still a social organization. So it's a little bit of, a little bit of both. Um, and so I think with, with uh, you know, again, whether, whatever your beliefs are uh, or views are in Bitcoin, I think that technology um, of a new form of digital trust uh, is, is what's most important and why I think the technology of money has now changed forever. Um, yeah, again, I don't want to bore you with a long economics uh, dissertation on, on trust or money or anything that, like that. So, so again, like I said, I try to, I try to put my, my career into try to work out these, these issues and try to, if nothing else, advance the technology. Um, I actually prefer to usually be on pa panels and, and pick fights uh, just, uh, just to try to get, you know, get the dialogue to, to, to go somewhere so we don't get you know, sort of consensus thinking. Um, but I... I, I think that uh, if, we, if we start breaking down and thinking about you know, what's better, um, a, a commodity or a social contract, you know, what are the aspects of, of both? Um, and and what, I've, what I've done is my last company um, that you might know me from, uh, Bitgold, uh, which became, became gold money, uh, we were focused on custody and the interoperability between the three, uh, th what I would say, three types of money. So we store about, uh, about $2 billion in client assets in precious metals. Uh, fiat currency and digital assets uh, that are you know, fully insured and audited uh, as, as bearer assets. And so that was very focused on custody um, of the, and interoperability between the three types of, of, of money. Um, my new company is, is a little bit more abstract in this journey. Um, I mean, the business fundamentals are, are, are uh, pretty, pretty basic. Um, but I'm, I'm working on, um, uh, first is building a new commodities exchange. A number of my former uh, Goldman colleagues and some uh, former uh, directors of NYMEX uh, were focused on a couple energy contracts uh, that, that you know, there is no price for liquefied natural gas. So we think about a, a price. A price is a contract, whether you're talking about uh, WTI um, uh, oil or Henry Hub natural gas, that's actually a contract. Uh, and you need a contract to get a price. Um, and so we're doing the, the same thing uh, for liquefied natural gas. And then I'm also um, invested in uh, an identity protocol uh, and in an intellectual property um, uh, protocol as well. So, uh, and that's what ABEX is all about. So 
I guess that's the, the wide sweeping uh, uh, overview and, and happy to have a conversation about any and all uh, anytime.